from words of Sri Aurobindo. Sri Aurobindo on the mother. There is one divine force which acts in the universe and in the individual and is also beyond the individual and the universe. The mother stands for all these, but she is working here in the body to bring down something not yet expressed in this material world so as to transform life here. It is so that you should regard her as the divine Shakti working here for that purpose. She is that in the body, but in her whole consciousness she is also identified with all the other aspects of the divine. In a sense, the four powers of the mother may be called because of their origin, her emanations, just as the gods may be called emanations of the divine. But they have a more permanent and fixed character. They are at once independent beings, allowed their play by the Adya Shakti, and yet portions of the mother, the Mahashakti, and she can always either manifest through them as separate beings or draw them together as her own various personalities and hold them in herself, sometimes kept back, sometimes at play, according to her will. In the supramental plane, they are always in her and do not act independently, but as intimate portions of the supramental Mahashakti and in close union and harmony with each other. Durga is the mother's power of protection. Yeah.